Welcome to the year of the dragon and calendar year 2024 and this very special energy update for a pivotal year for humanity where we are in a time where humanity is really being challenged to raise their own level of conscious awareness. Today we're going to talk about love and what love really means and what it really is and how it is intertwined with so many elements which lead us into experiencing more of it. When we talk about love, we are really talking about our ability to feel more states of gratitude and to step into more of our own strength and ability to move closer into living our soul's purpose so that we can experience more miracles through the experience of our physical lives. We are in a pivotal time where energies have been flowing in for a good while and now they are starting to materialize into elements within our physical world, rendering experiences within the physical world that do not make logical sense from lower states of awareness. And if you think, that 2023 was one for the books? Well, you're right. And it was a great year of uncovering wounds. It was a year of exposure and of that which has been long held in darkness. As we were in an age that was governed by the energy of darkness. And now we are seeing the physical reflections of the transition where the energy of light gets to take its turn and 2024 is going to make 2023 look like the kickstart to a revolution. A revolution of change, of transformation, of personal and technological growth as we step into becoming a brand new global society. As we step in personally into our own abilities to be able to empathize and to really understand the humanness of all societies around us and of how our actions individually have for millennia been feeding destructive and deconstructive ways and how we have been looped into a karmic cycle of repeating the same things lifetime upon lifetime. 2024 is the year of the dragon. It is the year which embodies the energy of eight, reminiscent of the infinity loop going around and around and around in this constant interplay between the light and the dark, moving in divine synchronicity and harmony as we create everything that we see around us. And if you were born in the year of the dragon, well, you have a special capacity to harness the energies that are coming in this year through solar flares and coronal mass ejections, all bringing with them light codes, which are changing the embodiment on our planet and its ability to hold more light within its own cells, which are us, which are the plants and the trees and the animals that we see all around us. This energy is accessible to anyone who chooses to garner and harness the power of it. However, those that were born in the year of the eight can experience catalyzing fast and transformational change by tapping in to this energy. As this energy brings with it and holds a key for you to unlock your own innate superhuman abilities, bringing in abilities for the greater collective to bear witness to the changes that these individuals can pull down into the physical grid. For those born in the years 1928, 1940, 1952, 1964, 1976, 1988, 2000, 2012, and for the children that are being born in to 2024, this begins to really start a revolution of this influx of children who will really be the cedars, who will lead the future generations into states 
where we can continually bear good fruit for a global society. So let's talk about the pathways that one can follow in order to unlock and harness the power of this very transformative energy. One's ability to tap in to your own spiritual essence and harness that to use energy for personal and transformational change, which begins inside. And it starts with a decision that you make to come in to divine union with your higher self. No longer subjecting yourself to the constant interplay of needing to choose between your light and your dark aspects. Where you can come into a space where you really know how to recognize all the aspects that are parts of who you are and getting to space where you can allow those aspects to exist without judgment, without criticism, through the embodiment of becoming more love by allowing the light to shine into the darkness and by learning to love those darker aspects and to harness those aspects in more productive ways that are not coming out of you in ways which create more chaos within society around us because of your want to hide them. Folding and caving into the idea that has been programmed and conditioned into your mind that anything created from dark energy is inherently evil. And this very idea is keeping you deeply embedded into states of separation and division. For when we deny the darker aspects, we feel that we need to hide them. And this is why we are collectively seeing things kept in the shadows. And where we see the uncovering of the great imbalances and the darkness that has been held deep within the shadows of society, being uncovered and revealed during these times, it is a direct reflection of the change within the collective consciousness and the individual decision to step into power of our own healing, into taking our own power back through the embodiment of deciding to learn how to love ourselves. For when we allow our light to appreciate and honor our own darkness, our darkness responds to the light by allowing more love to sit within its own embodiment knowing that it can simply be and that it can exist and play and be part of the world that we see in creative ways, bringing forth great change into the physical grid of everything that we see around us and where we see a lot of storylines and timelines playing out within the grid of society, trying to explain cosmic and universal forces by keeping one focused on events and constructs which always keep you looking outside of the self for completion. And we see this within the third dimensional matrix grid as this constant search of looking and trying to find your twin flame or divine aspect through another individual, of seeking divine union, making you perfect and whole through something that exists out there. But when we search for completeness and wholeness from outside of ourselves, we portray the very essence of being fragmented and incomplete within our own state of being. And when we constantly search for fulfillment and wholeness, which already exists within, these pathways that keep individuals at bay from truly accessing the intimacy of their own inner connection. And where you can ignite a flame from within, from deep in the guttural area of your sacral chakra. And where you can ignite a spark of passion and fire, allowing the darker aspects within you to be recognized to be felt from deep within 
igniting a state from your very being, elements of creativity and of greater joy, elements of exploration and inspiration, an invitation from your lighter aspects to your darker aspects to come out and play and to help you to step into greater states of balance as you learn to harmonize your own energies by igniting your own flame between your logical, logical linear third dimensional mind and into inviting in that co-creation with the higher aspects of yourself, allowing you to build the energy of love and to become the embodiment of love within the expression of your own uniqueness. No longer sitting in denial. For love is not an emotion. Love is the awareness and the acceptance of things as they are. And understanding how not needing to force or change anything and lessening that internal resistance is the pathway for you to allow in the change that is inherently embodied through unconditional love and understanding that the physical representation of thoughts, words, and actions which emit from the physical vessel of your body are always an expression of the love that you are feeling from within. And when we are moved into states of disharmony and imbalance based on events that are happening outside of us, because we are tapped into the energy of separation, the energy of sedation and of needing to see something occur in a certain way in order for us to experience more joy, continually putting your own personal power into events that are occurring out there somewhere. Love is not a noun. It is not something that you can pick and apply to this or that and leaving everything else behind. Only holding certain elements within your scope of what appears to be light but love is the acceptance of all things as they are and understanding who you are so that you know how to move through and around your own physical environment in a way which embodies the essence of unconditional love, which is a verb. Love is an action, a way of being that exudes by allowing the essence of your spirit to reside inside of your physical body and to live your life in an authentic and intentional way, knowing and understanding that you are a piece of divine source creation, ultimately created from the pure essence that is love and the pure essence which exists within every single one of us though many have elected through their own free will to view life in a way which keeps them separated from the ability to access those deeper states of love in order to experience more lessons, which will lead them into the ultimate knowing and awareness that they may choose to embody the ability to access love through their own free will at some point in time, which is in resonance for their own soul growth. And when we can embody love and let it permeate unconditionally from our own state of being, well, we can learn to show up in more loving ways through our own participation within society. And as we work to implement greater essences and allowances of the expression of love, and as we change our very selves, we bring more of that change into the field all around us, allowing us to tap directly into more states of gratitude and love, which are inherently interconnected and intertwined to one another. They can be viewed as a piece of the cosmic interplay of the dance of light and dark, working together to bring you into greater states 
of harmony and awareness and of allowing you to tap into growing more of the energy of love through emitting senses of gratitude for what is and for understanding that the dark experiences ultimately lead to more light through our experience of them and through our ability to learn from every single lesson that we experience and understanding that it has a silver lining which brings us growth as a species that has been living deep in denial to our own personal power and our own collective shadows we have been deeply focused on patterns and reasoning and trying to understand things from the scope of linearity and through the scope of our logical minds and leaving at bay the creative aspects that built the world that we see. But when we deny those creative aspects and the essence of spirituality and putting that essence into the many boxes within society that look like religion, within the global society, still keeping the power of one's own personal heart center and ability to step into wholeness outside of the self, and when we stay in states where our beliefs in the essence of pure, unconditional love come from a source outside of you, well, it greatly limits your ability to feel gratitude from within, where we put the essence of gratitude into things that we can only receive from others and into creating more of these faulty belief patterns that in order for us to be grateful for any one thing in particular, that we must see the evidence of that thing within physical form in our own lives. And this is a result of our conditioning into living solely out of the linear and logical mind, staying deeply ingrained into and attached to the monkey mind and into the perpetual loop of beliefs that keep you limited from experiencing more of the true essence of unconditional love. The essence that you are charged with connecting to and growing from the inside out in order to change the world during this pivotal crux in time for humanity, where we collectively witness and are the catalyzing change that is bringing this world into higher knowing. As we step into the world of the sixth sun, where we are allowing in the knowledge of polarity and of duality, of acceptance of our dark and light aspects in order to build a new creative global society through tapping in to our spiritual essence and letting it exude from the physical vessel of our bodies. As we step into divine union and divine relationship with our higher aspects, you are your own twin flame. It is the perfect union of your light and dark aspects. Recognizing one another so that you may create a life truly built around the essence of unconditional love. And knowing that gratitude is harnessed from inside and that we can experience more of the feeling of gratitude through our acceptance of what is and not forcing change, but allowing change to unfold naturally as it always does in nature. When we can allow the interplay of love and gratitude to really govern our lives and our experience of it through the embodiment of our own spiritual essence. This very state of being leads you into discovering your divine purpose through allowing you to communicate and co-create between your lower and higher mind, bringing you toward pathways Pathways which bring more joy into your experience of life and where you can sit and relish in the discovery of the things that you want to experience more of. 
For you are not molded from a cookie cutter. You are a neat, a unique spark of divine source consciousness, and you are not supposed to be the same as everything that you see around you. You are here to allow in your unique essence to show up through your physical body so that you may step into creation and to really bringing the power of who you are down into this physical grid as you step into more of your divine purpose, which is always inherently interconnected to the experiences which bring you greater joy. And as you participate in things that do bring you greater senses of joy, you grow the energy of that joy, leading you into more of your purpose, which changes and grows over time as you change and grow over time. And as you step into more of this balance, we step into more becoming, into more of the embodiment of unconditional love, where you begin to experience miracles. For miracles are the natural state of experience intended for humanity. And it is the space that we are stepping into during this crux in time as we move in to the world of the sixth sun. Miracles are only defined as miracles from a state of third dimensional awareness. Within the construct of the third dimensional grid, society has been globally conditioned to believe that the answers to every single thing that we seek to know is going to be found somewhere out there, leading us down all sorts of bunny trails. But when we can step into allowing our higher self or aspects to govern the essence of our physical bodies, where we can step into allowing us to tap into more of our own parasympathetic nervous system and bringing us individually as we begin to ignite the flame collectively, where others can step into allowing their own higher selves to govern their physical vessels of their bodies. As they witness this happen, it transforms the society that we see all around us bringing us into greater states of calm, into greater states of balance. And as we step out of the functional necessity to allow our sympathetic nervous system to solely govern our experience of life, which is about a reflection of the interplay of the light and darkness within our own physical bodies. Energy always works the same. The sympathetic nervous system is a reflection of the dark and the parasympathetic nervous system is a reflection of the light and the interplay and dance that they are continually engaging in. And as we experience reality where we can consciously choose to allow in the higher aspects or parasympathetic nervous system to spend more time and play within this grid we change the whole grid around us. 2024 is the year of the dragon and where the societal division really begins to be witnessed within the grid, where it is the division between the lower states of consciousness and the choice to move up into the embodiment of higher states of consciousness. It is a choice. And through allowing in the clearing of the walls that have been built up all around your mind. And through allowing the information of light that is permeating the field all around us. To change the way that you show up in the world. And to change the way that you think about life. And about things that are happening all around us. And about allowing the information to be reflected through your own thoughts, your own words, and in the way that you act. The dragon energy of eight is the infinity loop, bringing direct experience of the energy 
that you are emitting from within your body and into the experience of more of the same type of energy. The calendar year of 2024 is a pivotal year where, in, where awareness, where allowance, where experience really become the interplay within the grid that humanity experiences. The plants and animal kingdoms are already fully embodied in this higher dimensional energy. These changes in the human being being integrated or not, depending on one's vibrational alignment to the energies is what is creating all the destruction and division that we see happening all around us. And where we see the great mother moving into states of wailing, of eruptions and great shakings, of hurricanes, of flooding and of wildfires, it is a direct reflection of the energy that the human is bringing into the grid. So where we see more and more division, we see more and more natural cataclysm acting as a mirror and reflection. And as we move more and more into this divide of consciousness within our experience of reality, through a natural and cyclical event, which is providing pathways for higher awareness to ascend into new experiences because they have reached a critical juncture in development and within their own minds, which will allow in the experience of more as part of the soul's growth, which is constant and ongoing there is no ceiling and we can look to nature to understand the experience of the human and what it is going through at this time where you can take the simple perspective of a leaf of an alder tree also showing the constant interplay between the light and dark within its very being where the top of the leaf is dark green and from its perceptual vantage point it sees a wide open and vast expanse of light where it is flooding in through the blue skies, through the cosmic knowledge and the ability to see and bear witness to the stars, to the planets and the heavens all around the greater space and just taking in that information and allowing it to have an experience which appears much lighter than from its underside and where from the underside of that very same leaf embodies an appearance on the leaf itself that is a shade lighter than the top of the leaf, <laughs> showing the interplay of light and dark within that very leaf and from the vantage point and perceptual awareness of the lower half of that very leaf its perspective and perception points, while well, they are vastly different, limited to the shadow aspects and to the ground that it has been unable to see beyond. In the same way, this will be the experience between the division of consciousness that is occurring all around us. It is in the way that we think that determines the resonance of energy that we allow to be filtered through our own bodies. And as these solar light codes and coronal mass ejections bring in more change through the integration of light, it looks very different from the two scopes of perceptual awareness that are being embodied on the planet now and it is being further separated by that changing grid, leading two collectives into vastly different experiences. Where from one scope of awareness, this looks like 5G and towers being installed all across the globe, meant to enslave a global society, bringing experiences that will look more and more like control and loss of sovereignty. And for the other scope 
of perceptual awareness. This looks like a rising up into the fifth dimensional new earth consciousness where we have access to more information and more technology through the expansion of our own awareness simultaneously occurring. And with an expansion in technology that is bringing about great change, which is enabling a global society to step into more freedom and into reclaiming their own soul sovereignty as they learn how to work directly with technology, moving closer to restoring the spiritual vitality within the field that we all inhabit. And where from one scope of awareness, the crumbling and falling away of global governmental structures are walking us collectively toward a one world government where we are individually and collectively taken away from our uniqueness and essence. And where from the other state of awareness, the crumbling and governing systems is an opportunity bringing us into pathways where we can create a better world through really understanding our history and our patterns and through integrating that knowledge and consciously choosing to take back our autonomy and power so that we can rebuild a better and lighter world, a world that we can all share in globally. So be very intentional with your energy during the year of the dragon. Learn how to harness that dragon from inside of you, which is a reflection of your emotional body and of your energetic chakra centers, which are all meant to work in a continual and constant interplay of the lights and dark aspects, allowing you to receive and to start to channel this life force energy through the physical vessel of your body, allowing it to move into the space of divine creation in order to learn how you can embody the own unique essence and puzzle piece of creation that you are. And as we put those pieces together to bring in brand new experiences, and as our world shifts into our new creation. My name is Misty Dawn. I am a creative, intuitive, and indigenous energy healer. And I hope this message helps. If this type of content appeals to you, please join me as we navigate creation consciousness and building anew within these new earth energies. Sending you many blessings and perfect love